Attorneys at Law since 1974 and located in downtown Ocala. If you have legal issues, don't go it alone. Call 352-732-7218. Blanchard, Miriam, Adele, and Kirkland. Helping protect your liberties every day. Hooray for all the moms in our lives. Right from the start, she was the one who nurtured you and supported you in every pursuit. This year, you are going to cater to her. Call Honey Baked Ham at 352-861-0011 and order all her favorites. If it's just the two of you or the whole family, this is her day. And Honey Baked Ham makes it easy for you to pamper mom. Now call 352-861-0011. Or stop by 2709 Southwest 27th Avenue behind Best Buy. Ready? Broadcasting from the Paddock Mall Studios, this is WOCA, Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, The Source. Which name is more famous, Alex Hawk or Ted Bell? Ooh. When when your creation uh, becomes more famous than yourself, then I think you know you've, <laughs> you're successful. Yeah. Right? Everybody wants to know when we're speaking to Alex Hawk. We're not speaking to Alex Hawk. No. We're speaking <laughs> to Ted Bell. He created Alex Hawk. Yes. He's got a book, a new book. It's called Overkill. I think this is the ninth one. I'm not sure. And uh, this... You know how you know when you have a, a guest with a popular book, it's when the phone lines keep calling. When, when are you going to have him on? When are you going to have him yeah, on? But the exactly. one, one caller did ask, when is Alec Hall coming on? So yeah. I think you'll find that funny, Ted. <laughs> Ted's been with us before, actually. It's always an honor to have him on. He is truly one of the superstars in the book business. Um, Ted Bell, good morning, sir. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. Thank you very much for having me back. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, you, you don't really have Alex Hawk with you, do you? Just, just... <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, he's all. He's actually all. He's actually always with. Me. <laughs> in a sense, he's that's right. That's right. That's right. Um, he's, you, my, he's my alter ego. You know? <laughs> Is that right? I mean, do you kind of live we through travel him? Together. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Yeah. I, what I, the guy's life is unbelievable. In, in, I mean, I, I would kill him. What, the, of the things you make him do, what things would you do? You wish you really could do. I have a three hundred foot yacht. <laughs> oh my gosh yeah and i suppose there's some things you wish you'd, you you're glad you don't do right there must be some of those well yeah but there's also a lot of things other things i do wish i could do but um yeah he leads a great life i i, I live by carrier <laughs> um uh so where are you right now where do you where do you live i have a, i have a uh, like a 200 year old farmhouse in, in the country in connecticut and um, it's a great little place to write books and uh, hang out. I'm getting a dog uh, next month. No. Oh. Um, I'm a happy camper. How come next month? Why are you waiting for the next month? Well, the, the litter. The litter. The litter. Is being oh. The litter. Oh. Oh, my gosh. That sounds so comf comfy, doesn't it? Where, where in Connecticut are you? Give me an idea. I'm sort of familiar with Milford. I know Milford is all I know. And Bridgeport. Okay. Well, Okay, so I'm I'm just outside of Greenwich. I'm in backcountry Greenwich, Connecticut, in the southern part. Okay, okay, boy, that sounds really pretty. Um, it's great. <laughs> are you on this on Long Island Sound? No, well, yeah, we are. I mean, the town is definitely on the south. Oh, okay. But <laughs> I'm back in the back in the I'm back in the woods. Your your book is doing so well on uh, Amazon. It just came out May first, according to this, and it's number four. In one category, the category of assassinations. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's the category. Uh, number five in spies and politics. Number twelve in military. So there you go. You're doing really well. Wow. Uh, in uh, that's fantastic in in this novel, you've combined real people in your yeah. in yeah, your I writings. Always do, I always do that. I mm -hmm. I always do that. I think it gets much more interesting. I mean, I have a lot of made up people, but. Um, you know, I, I put Putin in, in, in one of my books uh, in 2008 when everybody else was writing about, you know, Arab, Arab sheiks and, 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 uh, and Al-Qaeda. I just, I just didn't want to go there. So I decided to focus on Russia. Oh. Uh, that was 10 years ago. And, and Putin's been in and out of my books ever since. Well, maybe that's... But he's really... He's really maybe you made he's really him. gone off the rails this time, I'll say. Maybe you... I think I did. Yeah, I Somebody, think... <laughs> I have to tell you. I have to tell you, I'm the last uh, 
American spy novels is still published in Russia, in Russian. And when I was there, a couple of these guys kind of hinted to me that he actually read my book, which I thought was amazing. <laughs> that is amazing. So I kind of have to watch. I have to watch my step with the guy. I don't want to cross his step on his toe. <laughs> Although this book does step, this book does step on his. So if anything happens to me, you guys know where to look. Oh my gosh! Let's hope nothing <laughs> happens. Yeah, yeah. That, it's a crazy circumstance in the world right now. I don't know. Oh, uh, you bring family into your book also, with Alex's son. Yes. Right. Yeah, he's incredibly close to his son, and um, and I. I I, I, I always try to have a high sort of emotional uh, content in the book in addition to the action and the, the romance and the sex. Um, and <laughs> there's no one on the planet that is more precious to him. And so I have, when Putin decides to you know, escape from Moscow and then go into hiding and rebuild you know, his wealth and his army, he knows that Alex Hawk's going to come after him. So he has, has the little boy kidnapped. And... Uh, to hold in, in, in ransom against Hawk, making the moves against him. So of course, you got so you got two storylines. You got one, he doesn't know who's got his child, and he's you know, determined to get him back. And then you got him trying to stop Putin from invading Switzerland to steal all the gold. Oh my, my gosh! Go- this book is my gold. This book is my gold finger. Forget about that. <laughs> it is. This, this is a wonderful book. It, it, uh, T- Ted Bell sent us a copy of the book, by the way, so give me a minute or two and I'll give that one away. Um, you, you know, I, I put your picture up on the podcast we're doing. You look like, uh, oh gosh, uh, Anthony Bourdain. You have an Anthony Bourdain look yeah. in this. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Do you know each oh, other? Oh, that's interesting. Doesn't he live up there somewhere? Uh, I know who he is. I know who he is. I mean, I, I hope he's a good looking guy. You never, you, <laughs> you, you, did you ever eat like a Cobra Heart while it was still beating? Because he's done that. All, 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 all the time. <laughs> uh, what's wonderful about your books is that they're also very historical. And this one, you touch on the location of Falcon's Lair. Yeah. Well, Falcon's Lair. I mean, I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been wanting to put that place in a book for a long time. And, it, it came out of when I had a, a year abroad in, in Germany and Austria, and I, I went up to uh, Eagle's Nest, which was Hitler's uh, area up high in the, in the mountains, uh, built by Albert Speer. And, and it's an amazing place with, with glass windows all around. And I said, I'd love to have a place like this. So I decided to recreate it in the Swiss Alps um, and had Albert Speer designing it for Hitler to use as his headquarters in the event that he won the war in Europe. That's going to be his base. So that's all true. Um, not not quite true, but, but partially true. Do you, do you ever feel that the books, like when you write, when like for example, adding Putin to the book, do you ever feel like it, um, it like real life history mimics the book or has that not happened to you? No, I sometimes feel like I'm ahead of, ahead of real life history. Well, that's kind of what I mean. Yeah, because people say, God, yeah, yeah, I, I, I always try to do that. I try to write myself into the future. Um, and I, I kind of think that's why I went with Putin instead of, you know, ISIS. Yeah. I thought ISIS was going to be... Uh, and so uh, it's kind of eerie. Yeah, it is. And uh, um, you also uh, have in the book where um, uh, Alex might for- form an ally just temporarily in one of his enemies searching for his son. Right. Um, there are a number of those. Are you referring to one specific person? No. Uh, well, he does that. You know, he's, he's, a, he's an international spy. He, he makes friends when he has to. He does that a lot, um, sounds like. So, well, he's, yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, and and Putin, Putin is still somewhat of a friend of his, although now now he won't be anymore. Um, yeah. If they translate it into Russian, uh, I wonder if they like f- change anything to make you know, like Putin more heroic or something. So they don't get shot. You know, for that reason. <laughs> yeah, to protect you. Um, te- yeah, to protect me. <laughs> I have a copy of the book. It's called Overkill. It's written by Ted Bell. He is a superstar in the world of books. Sorry about that. Um, and if you would like the copy that was sent to us, please call right now, 622-9622. We'll leave it here for you. The rest of us have to go buy it. I found it on Amazon. Do you have a website, Ted? 
I do. TedBell.com. TedBell.com. All right. Uh, let me give this one away real quick and then we'll say goodbye. Good morning. You've got the book. Who's this? This is Ed Davis. Ed Davis, you got the book. You know where we are? Yes, sir. I've been to see you Okay. You've got it. It'll be waiting for you. Uh, <laughs> what? Hey, Joe. I don't know what he said. Uh, Ted, thank you for being on the, on the show with us. It's always an honor. Thanks to tell your fans that the Hawk, the movie, is coming out summer 2019. You're kidding. The movie? Oh, wow. That's no, exciting stuff. Dead, dead serious. Wow. Yeah, Paramount. We're in production right now. We'll come back on and talk about that a little bit. I'd love to. Okay. Thank you, Ted. We will be right back. Thank you. The first and third Wednesday mornings of each month at 9.05, Robert Colin will be with us from On Top of the World, Ocala's premier active adult community. Be sure to listen and be sure to call in. Speak with Robert to learn about all the exciting lifestyle and new home choices available at On Top of the World. From time to time, Robert will have guests and we're sure you will enjoy our little chat. You deserve the world and we bring it to you. So be sure to tune in on the first and third Wednesdays of each month right here on The Source, WOCA. Hi, this is Lisa McGinnis, editor of Ocala Magazine and host of Ocala Magazine Radio. Join me every Friday at 10 a.m. when we bring the pages of Ocala Magazine to life. There's only one Ocala Magazine and only one source for local news talk radio. Tune in Friday.